let me start out by something that you said at the very beginning, which is the importance of voting and that it's a given. Unfortunately, Armando, I don't think that it is a given. And, and I say that because of the dismal participation rates among Americans. Less than 50% of Americans actually come out to vote, generally. And even more dismal participation among our community, the Latino community. And I actually think it is more incumbent upon us on this stage and everywhere in our communities to continue to hammer that home. Because while we think it's a given, I don't necessarily think it's a given to the people who are out there struggling each and every single day, some perhaps even holding two or three jobs just to make ends meet. So I just want to preface that uh, by continuing to say that we need to push that it is a given and why. The issues in this election for Latinos and for Latino seniors uh, are no different really than the issues in the election for everyone else, and that is the economy. Uh, the economy is the number one issue. We've seen it in many, many polls from the very beginning of uh, President Obama's administration. Frankly, it was the number one issue in the last election as well. I think the difference for our community, and this is something that I say many, many times, is that we see a lot of issues as filter issues, immigration being one of them. And what I mean by that is that immigration is incredibly important to our community because we know how it affects our communities. We know how it affects our families. We know people that are struggling with this issue each and every single day from a very personal standpoint. So when we are looking and listening to the candidates in terms of what they are saying on the economy, even though it's our number one issue, we keep immigration and other issues too, by the way, health care, health care for seniors, Medicare, Social Security, as these filter issues, which means that they will definitely play a role in our decision making process and we will filter the messages that we get from the candidates on the economy on, on these other issues, meaning if we don't like the way that they're talking to us about immigration, if we don't like the way that they're talking to us about Medicare or Social Security, well, they're not going to be so credible on economic issues. And that's why and so it's so important to continue to talk about all of these issues, because all of these issues really do have an impact on our community, probably more so than the mainstream community. And it has been an egregious effort, Armando, by Republican legislatures all across the country for the last two years to make it much more difficult for minorities to go vote under the guise of voter fraud, uh, that we have to prevent voter fraud, which frankly is something that doesn't happen. And so th this is actually the one thing that I think we have not talked about enough this election. And, and that could affect not just um, the, the votes, but voter turnout. And, and Arturo, I know, can talk a lot about this. They're coming out with a new report next week. But uh, it, it is something that is very egregious. And if you listen to the, uh, the, the head of the, of the Republican legislature in Pennsylvania, he actually said, going down the list of the things that they put in place to make sure that Mitt Romney wins Pennsylvania, he talked about voter ID laws. He said, voter ID law will ensure that Mitt Romney wins Pennsylvania. Check. I mean, that to me says it all, in a nutshell, about this, the, the Republican effort across the country to suppress the minority vote. And, and it is absolutely uh, geared toward Latinos. It's absolutely geared toward African Americans. It also affects seniors. It affects poor people. And so I think it is something that we all need to be aware of. We need to make sure we know what we need to do to get our community out. We need to know what the laws are. We need to know what the documents are. We have to make sure that our voices are heard this election.